Hey guys, it's uh, Tom here from Welding Supplies Direct. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Powerweld XT T212 ACDC. Let's get straight into it. So first of all, we're going to get into the accessories that you get with this machine. So we'll take a look at the torch, we'll take a look at the gas regulator too. Uh, so first of all, the torch that you get, it's a WP26, it's a 4 metre uh, in length, and you get the Antonov plug pre-fitted to it as well. It's one of Powerweld's Pro Grip Max torches. Uh, which is a really nice moulded torch and you also get the on torch uh, control which can control your amperage up and down uh, so a really nice quality torch great to use really comfortable really nice ergonomic shape to the handle uh, great bit of kit to be fair so that's the torch we pop that back in its box pop that. the regulator that you get is uh, one of Parwell's single stage dual gauge regulators uh, so the two gauges on it uh, show the contents of your bottle and the other one shows the flow rate that's coming out of the gas regulator. So if we take that out of its packaging, and you can see exactly what's what as a close-up. The thread on it is a 5.8 PSP, which is standard for a UK gas bottle, and it's a top entry regulator. So if we give that a quick close-up, you can see that's a good quality regulator. So let's move on to the actual machine itself now. So now we'll move on to the machine itself. Uh, so we'll pop it open. Uh, really nice to see that it's well packaged. Plenty of styrofoam to keep it safe. So if you grab the machine out, first thing you notice when you take it out is such a lightweight machine. Uh, 12 kilos according to the specifications. And that certainly feels accurate from taking it out of the package. So let's take all this off. Pop that to one side. Machine. So you can see it comes with a nice bit of plastic wrapping over the over the protective shield. Uh, you've got a nice simple looking control panel there. Standard 3/8 gas BSP uh, connection. Amphenol connector here. 35 to 50 mil DINs connections, which is a, a nice mark of quality there. Uh, on the back, you've got the on-off switch, uh, the cable, and the gas input here. Uh, which looks to be a snap fit connector, which is a nice little uh, point from, uh, from Powerworld. You've then got the power connection cable, uh, which as usual in the UK will come with no plug pre-fitted to it. Uh, so it's recommended you to fit a 16 amp uh, UK uh, plug onto that. Um, so the other things we get in the box, uh, the, some more accessories. So we get uh, the earth lead, which looks like a good quality earth lead, which is nice, nice copper connections on the earth clamp itself and a high quality 35-50mm DINs connector. Pop that back in there and we get the gas line with the quick fit connector already on it and the 3 8 BSP connector to fit onto the gas regulator. And you're also getting in there, uh, you're getting a carry, ca uh, carry cable uh, for if you're taking it on site and you also get a spare amphenol plug if you do decide to add an aftermarket torch onto it so you can solder up and plug. Um, so those are all the accessories included in with the power weld. Let's move up to a close-up of the control panel. So when you first turn the power weld XTT212 on, the fan will come on. If I can find the power on button, there we go. The fan will come on for roughly 10 seconds and then turn itself off. I'll just wait for the fan to turn off. Brilliant. Now looking at the control panel, uh, you can see it's laid out very logically, very easily. Uh, we've got here the pulse on and off button, uh, so that will turn it off, uh, pulse and on pulse uh, when it's uh, welding. This is to turn it from high frequency to lift TIG when it's on, it's high frequency, when it's off, it's lift TIG. Let's keep that on for now. You can see this top button here in the top left corner, that's a gas test, so if you click it, You'll hear the gas solenoid would click on. If it was connected to a gas bottle, you'd hear a, a rush of gas through, and then you can just press it off to close the gas solenoid. Over here in the top right corner, you've got your two touch and your four touch, whichever you prefer. And just here, you've got switching between AC and DC uh, output. In the middle here, you've got your uh, control knob. Now to, uh, to run through this, you select uh, the part you want to adjust, you would then click onto it, 
adjust as necessary, click it again until the light starts flashing and you can then adjust through all the different things you would need to adjust. Your pulse, your pulse frequency, your main amperage, your upslope, your downslope, everything you would need to do all the way down to your post gas. Uh, if you were to go onto your AC mode, that opens up your AC frequency and your AC balance, uh, which is down here, um, which are really useful features to have. Now what we'll do is we'll go and take a look through, uh, through the stick, uh, the MMA um, process, and uh, we'll go straight onto that now. Okay, so now we're looking at the uh, stick or MMA function on the uh, Powerwell XTT212. Uh, it's worth noting when you do put it into MMA mode that there is a constant running fan, so don't be alarmed if that happens. So if we press the button over here, that puts it into arc mode. As you can hear here, the fan comes on, so I'll do my best to speak a bit louder. Uh, so you can see it's a maximum amperage here of 170 amps on the uh, stick output, all the way down to five amps. So let's say if we were running 3.2 mil, you pop it down to about 110 amps, and you can then uh, use this button to uh, flick through the arc force and the hot start. Now if you click onto the arc force, you can adjust that as you see necessary. Keep that at zero for now. And then if you flick over to arc force, each one of these points represents a 10% increase in the hot start. So if I wanted uh, a, where are we? A 50% hot start, I would leave that there. And that would give you a 50% hot start when you strike the arc. Now to take it out of MMA mode, you press this button here puts it back into TIG mode, and then after a short amount of time, your fan should turn off. Um, you can also have your AC-DC output on stick, so if I pop that back into stick, you can still select between your AC output or your DC output on stick welding, which is a very nice feature to have, but not many AC-DCs on the UK market have. So that's the MMA uh, function on the XTT212. Uh, let's go to finishing comments now. So, concluding comments on the Parwell XTT212. Uh, overall, it's a really, really good quality, uh, compact ACDC TIG. Uh, the fact that it's only 12 kilos is a really, really big advantage, uh, especially when it's coming to site work. Uh, and combine that with the fact that it's a dual voltage, 110 volt and 240 volt input, it's perfect for the on-site welder. Uh, the way that it's controlled, really intuitive, really easy to, to use, uh, and uh, the features in there are absolutely brilliant and, and really useful too. Uh, combine that with the top quality accessories that you get, it's a perfect solution for someone who's in the market for a 200 amp AC DC under £1,000. Uh, if you need any more information on this machine, uh, check out our website or call us on 01952 582 260. Cheers.